Hi everybody, welcome back. Today we're doing a, another new release video. Uh, we will be going over 136, which is called Garden Growth, and it will be releasing on Wednesday, March 9th, just in time for the TPC sale, which starts on the 10th. So let's get started. I'm put up with changes. Come pick me up cause I just wanna see the light. I wanna be weightless. Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down. Okay, first up is the weekly kit. So this is the full box sheet. If you like yellow and green, you will love this. Look at that cute little wheelbarrow. So yeah, that is the full box sheet, the half and quarter box sheet, thick washi, thin washi, and then we have the headers, basic labels, appointment labels, plain half and quarter boxes, scripts, the doodle quarter and half boxes, and then the date covers. So this is the vertical, Aaron Condren hourly, and the plum vertical columns. And then we have the ombre checklist box, boxes, and then the sidebar. And then this is the deluxe washi sheet. The glitter headers, checklist for the Aaron Condren vertical or most vertical planners. The A5 horizontal, Aaron Condren hourly and vertical columns checklist box. The sticky note sheet and the extra functional sheet. And then finally, this one does not have a deco sheet, but it does have a deco journaling sheet, which looks like this. Okay, so next is the mini kit. Let's zoom you out here. I'm just now noticing that the lines on my board are not straight. Sorry. So this is the mini kit sheet one. So it's got your scripts, plain functional boxes, weekend banner, and four strips of washi. And then the second sheet is here. So you've got your full box, four more sheets of washi, a ton of functional items, and your decorative boxes there. Okay, next up is the TPC kit. This is a one sheet kit, but there are additional functional items that you can order inside of this listing. So you've got your sidebar, your days of the week, functionals, and your thin washi. Next is the vertical priorities kit. I'm gonna slide that off, zoom this in. Okay, so this is the A5 main sheet, the seven by nine main sheet, date covers for the A5, date covers for the seven by nine, A5 labels, the seven by nine labels, bottom box covers for the seven by nine, and your added functional sheet. And next is the A5 horizontal. This is also looking really cute in the hobo cousin spreads that I've seen. So if you have a cousin, I would love to see photos of this kit in there. So this is sheet one. These are the full boxes, got some functional items and your date covers. And then sheet two has scripts, functionals, decorative boxes, and the washi. Okay, last up for the weeklies is the Passion Planner. This will fit the medium size. So you've got sidebar items, to-do list covers, daily to-do list scripts, two washies that go on the this week's focus, and a whip strip of washi for the space of infinite possibilities, and then some commonly used scripts for that planner. Okay, date cover options per usual, Monday start with times, Monday start without times, whoops, did I have that in the right, Sunday start without times, let's get these in the right order, I did not do a very good job preparing for this one, let's see, Monday start without times, Sunday start with times, and Sunday start without times, and then your basic label sheet. Okay, so that's it 
for the weeklies. We're gonna move into the dailies now. This kit does have the monthlies, so if you're looking for a spring monthly, stay tuned and you can see those also. So this is the A5 Daily Duo. So it has Monday through Sunday on the first sheet along with your washi strips, your basic label sheet, appointment labels, salad headers, washi headers, and bottom box options A, B, C, and your seventh day box, and then your checklist. So next up is the 7x9 Daily Duo. This one has Monday through Friday on sheet one, Saturday and Sunday on sheet two, basic labels, appointment labels, salad headers, and washi headers. And I just realized I have not zoomed in on those yet. So there is a close up of those. And then your bottom box option. So you've got sheet A, sheet B, sheet C, your seventh day box, and your checklists. The A5 Plum Daily is here, so Monday through Sunday and date dots on sheet one. The ombre checklist on sheet two. Got your appointment labels, basic labels, five days worth of bottom boxes, the sixth and seventh day bottom box and your scripts, solid headers, and washi headers and there is the fourth pattern on that one and then the seven by nine plum daily got monday through friday saturday and sunday ombre checklist covers appointment labels basic labels bottom boxes bottom boxes and scripts solid headers and your washi header sheet. Okay, so let me clean this up real quick. All right, next is the monthly. So first up we have the plum dashboard. So this is the A5 size, the seven by nine size, the eight and a half by 11, and then your optional add-ons for if you don't want one of the boxes that are on the sheet. So this is the A5, the seven by nine, and the eight and a half by 11. Okay, next up is the A5 Plum Monthly. This is your Sunday start sheet, your Monday start sheet, and the labels. And these labels we recently discovered will fit into your Hobonichi Cousin in the weekly spot. So if you're looking for a kit that has some smaller boxes to make them work in that planner, and it has a monthly option for the collection, that's a sheet you wanna add on. It's inside the A5 Plum Monthly. Okay, next up is the 7x9 Plum Monthly. This is the Sunday start and the Monday start. And regular 1.5 inch labels will work in that planner and you can also add those on inside that listing. Last up for the Plum Monthlies, this is the 8.5 by 11. So here is your Sunday start sheet, your Monday start sheet, and then the extra boxes. All right, moving into A5 Erin Condren. So we have the coiled up first. So here's your Sunday start and your Monday start sheet. And then this is for the ringed agenda. So here's the Sunday start sheet on that one and the Monday start sheet on that one. And again, the 1.5 inch wide label, or no, I'm sorry, the same labels that are in the A5 Plum Daily will be in this one also. Okay, next is the seven by nine Erin Condren. So here's your Sunday start sheet, Monday start sheet, whoops. And then I led straight into the Passion Planner Monthly. So that's your Sunday start sheet on that one. 
and your Monday start sheet on this one. And 1 1.5 inch labels will work in both the 7x9 Erin Condren and the Passion Planner. Those will be inside of that listing. Okay, next we have the Moxie Life. So this is the A5. And don't forget, we're trying something new with these monthlies to hopefully change up in our mid-year reformat. So your Monday start strip is down here if you're not a Sunday start for your monthly. And then this is the seven by nine size. Okay, finally up for collection 136 is the budget kit. It's been a minute since we've come out with monthlies and budget kits, but here one is. So this is the fixed expense budget sheet, the variable expense budget sheet, your weekly check-in, the sinking funds, transaction log, debt tracker, cash envelopes, thin washi, the savings tracker, and your budget labels. So that is it for this kit. I will be back tomorrow to go over kit 137 with you. Have a great day. Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down Could somebody wake me up? I don't want